Hey and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd talk to you about probably one of the weirdest weeks of my life and to do that we need to rewind all the way back to the summer of 2019 where I was filming some videos in New York. Mike and I had gone to America to film a few videos at the final race weekend of the Formula E 2019 season. This in itself was mad to me. I was in New York, somewhere I'd always wanted to go. It was 30 degrees and sunny the whole time and we had epic access to all the cars and drivers at the Formula E. Now the last day of the race weekend, things got even cooler because we met Casey Neistat, who I was a huge fan of at the time. If you don't know who Casey is, he's a huge American YouTuber who was probably one of the big pioneers of daily vlogging and he's made some really cool content over the years. So to meet him was pretty exciting. The following evening we headed to JFK to catch a flight back to London where I thought the excitement for the week would end. But I was wrong. We landed in London at about 6am in the UK and I was exhausted. I've never been able to sleep on flights and I hadn't succeeded this time so I'd been up for about 24 hours at this point which wasn't great. But we had a job to do so we headed straight into the office and uploaded all of the content we'd filmed in New York. And about two hours into that process I got an out of the blue call from Jeremy Clarkson. He told me that he had a gap in his schedule and that we should film a video for Drive Tribe. He told me to meet him at a pub in Notting Hill in two hours and to bring my camera. This gave me enough time to finish offloading the rushes, pop home for a shower to wake up a little bit and to get to the pub before Jeremy. This was quite a daunting thing for me because although I'd met Jeremy on a few occasions, I'd never filmed him, let alone on my own. I sat outside the pub so I could see Jeremy coming and waited for him to arrive. A few minutes later, I saw him sauntering towards me and jumped up ready to introduce myself in case he'd forgotten who I was, but there was no need for that as he called out, hey Lucy, and sat down at my table. He suggested we filmed inside as it was a really nice sunny day and it seemed like the whole of London were out on the streets of Notting Hill. Unfortunately, it was too noisy inside so we had to go back out front of the pub and film there. Jeremy was on great form and despite only having an hour free in his schedule, we managed to film three videos and have a nice chat afterwards. Can I just say, it works. 20 minutes ago, a woman parked her little Fiat 500 in a, in a parking spot there, didn't buy a ticket, but just put her hazard warning lights on and she still hasn't got a ticket. So that's a top tip, isn't it? You don't want to pay any uh, parking charges, just put your hazards on. After we finished filming, Jeremy went back to work and I rushed home to offload all the footage we'd captured. At this point, I was feeling extremely tired and exhausted because I'd been awake for about 28 hours now. So once I'd finished that, I went straight to bed and passed out. I woke up a few hours later, around 7 p.m., and I saw I had a text from Jeremy. It was a bit odd and quite cryptic. It just said, I see you're a bartender now. Not knowing what he meant, I did a quick Google search of Jeremy Clarkson to see if there was anything in the news, and there was. It turned out a paparazzi had seen Jeremy outside the pub and taken a few snaps, and the Daily Mail had written an article on it. I was visible in one of the photos, and it was captioned that I was one of the bartenders serving Jeremy, so now I understood his comment. I laughed to myself and realized that this was the end to a really weird week. Not only had I been to New York, filmed some awesome videos, met Casey Neistat, but I'd also come straight back to London and filmed some videos of Jeremy Clarkson. It was pretty mad. So there you have it, that was one of my weirdest weeks ever at Drive Tribe. It was incredibly cool and so exciting at the time and mildly interesting I think, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you'd like to hear more stories like this then let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hopefully I'll see you again soon.